The United States is known for its vast landscapes, diverse cultures, and booming population. However, not all states are equally populous. In this documentary, we'll explore the 10 states with the lowest populations and delve into the reasons behind their sparse demographics. Let's start with the state of Wyoming. With a population of just over 577,719, as of 2023, Wyoming is the least populous state in the country. Why is this the case? Wyoming's low population can be attributed to several factors. Firstly, it is a largely rural state with a vast, rugged landscape. The majority of the state is dominated by mountains, plains and federal lands, leaving little space for dense urban development. Additionally, the harsh climate with long cold winters and hot dry summers can make the state less attractive for potential residents. Another state with a remarkably low population is Vermont, with just over 623,251 residents as of 2023. Vermont's small population is largely due to its geographical isolation and rural character. The state is dominated by rolling hills, lush forests, and small tight-knit communities. The lack of major urban centers and limited economic opportunities have made it less appealing for large-scale migration, leading to a steady but slow population growth. Moving on, let's discuss North Dakota, which has a population of just over 779,094 as of 2023. North Dakota's low population can be attributed to its remote location, harsh climate, and reliance on agriculture and natural resource extraction. The state's economy is heavily dependent on industries like oil and gas, which tend to attract a more transient workforce. Additionally, the state's cold winters and long distances between population centers have made it less attractive for permanent residents. Another sparsely populated state is South Dakota, with a population of just over 895,376 as of 2023. Similar to North Dakota, South Dakota's low population can be attributed to its rural character, reliance on agriculture, and remote location. The state has a vast open landscape with a small number of urban centers. Its economy, which is heavily dependent on industries like farming, ranching, and tourism, has not been as successful in attracting and retaining a large population. Continuing our exploration, we come to Montana, which has a population of just over 1,084,225 as of 2023. Montana's low population is largely due to its rugged mountainous terrain and harsh climate. The state's vast wilderness areas and small dispersed communities have made it less appealing for large-scale migration. Additionally, the state's economy, which is heavily focused on natural resource extraction and agriculture, has not generated enough economic opportunities to attract a larger population. Another state with a relatively low population is Alaska, with just over 731,158 residents as of 2023. Alaska's low population is primarily due to its remote location, harsh climate and vast, untamed wilderness. The state's vast distances, limited transportation infrastructure and extreme weather conditions have made it a challenging place for many to live. Additionally, the state's economy, which is heavily dependent on resource extraction and tourism, has not been able to sustain a large permanent population. Rounding out our list of the least populous states, we have Maine, with a population of just over 1,344,212 as of 2023. Maine's low population can be attributed to its rural character, aging population, and limited economic opportunities. The state is largely dominated by forests, coastlines, and small, tight-knit communities. The lack of major urban centers and the state's reliance on industries like tourism and natural resource extraction have made it less attractive for large-scale migration. The other states with low populations in the United States are Idaho, with a population of just over 1,839,106 as of 2023, and West Virginia, with a population of just over 1,792,147 as of 2023. In conclusion, 
The 10 states with the lowest populations in the United States share several common characteristics, remote locations, harsh climates, rural landscapes, and economies heavily dependent on natural resource extraction and agriculture. These factors have made these states less appealing for large-scale migration and have contributed to their relatively sparse populations. While these states may not be the most densely populated, they offer unique opportunities for those seeking a slower pace of life, access to nature, and a strong sense of community. As the country continues to evolve, the populations of these states may change, but their distinct identities and challenges will remain an important part of the American tapestry.